Torque is a measurement of the force which causes something to rotate around a point. Think of a wrench and a nut which has seized up. Using a small wrench is very hard to free the nut. Using a long wrench will make it much easier. That's because of torque. If we use a 30 centimeter wrench and applied 90 newtons of force, we have 0.3 meters multiplied by 90 newtons, which gives us 27 newton meters of torque. However, if we applied the same 90 newtons of force to a wrench that was 60 centimeters long, then we would get 0.6 meters multiplied by 90 newtons, which gives us 54 newton meters. So from this simple formula, you can see we have more force acting on the nut by using a longer wrench. Essentially, we're using a larger circle to turn a smaller circle. By changing the size, we change the speed and the torque. A low gear provides low speed but high torque. A high gear gives high speed but low torque. If you have ever ridden a bike, you'll know it's very difficult to start pedaling in a high gear. So we need to start in a low gear to get the bike moving. At a certain point, our legs are spinning very fast, but we can't go any faster. So we need to change to another, higher gear. Once we reach a steep hill, we need to move to a lower gear. The same with a car. We start in our lowest gear number and work our way up as the vehicle increases in speed. Then we change down as we drive up a hill. Okay, that's it for this video, but to continue learning about mechanical and automotive engineering, check out one of the videos on screen now and I'll catch you there for the next lesson. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, as well as the engineeringmindset.com.